Well, hello everyone, my name is Fracture, and this is Let's Play Divine Divinity on the PC. The story so far in hmm, 30 seconds or less. Let's see. We've done a bunch of stuff, and now we're going to go back into the sewers. How's that? Okay, a little more detail. We need to get back into this castle. We were in here for a little while, we were banished, we were thrown in into some dungeons and fought our way back out. Then we got the key to ne Nerikon's garden and solved most of the quest. We went and got the treasure, but because I'd lost the book, I couldn't talk to the strat statue and get the last little bit of that quest. So we're just leaving it at that. I'm not going to worry about it. Now, I need to get into the dungeons of the castle to rescue the wizard that I talked to right near the beginning of the game. And there's two ways to do that. You can talk to the Thieves Guild in Verdastis, and they will apparently give you a shortcut. Or you can take the long way, and that's the sewers. And since we've already cleaned out the sewers, this is probably not a bad way of doing it. And I think we'll head to this one. Let's see. Um... At least a torture chamber. Torture chamber sounds promising. So it's either this. This would be closer to the castle, I think. Like, because the castle is to the southwest. So I think this is probably where we have to go. So yeah, let's head over there. And hope too much stuff hasn't repopulated, if anything. I've yet to see anything really repopulate in this game which I'm more than happy to see because I'm not a big fan of repopulating stuff. I figure if I went to all the trouble to clean something out it should stay clean, thank you very much. Uh, I think I just walked down a dead end. Indeed I did. Is it truly a dead end? No, yes. I thought maybe I'd missed part of the map. So, do you guys want me to stop fraps, or do you want to... Actually, I'm going to do that so you don't have to watch me run. I'm just running to that flag. See you in a second. Well, isn't that interesting? I run about 30% faster when fraps isn't running. Uh, maybe not. Maybe it's... Well, yeah, see... Uh, it's hard to tell. I think I do, yeah. I, I run... Somewhat faster when Fraps is not running, anyway. Okay, so let's head up here. I believe this leads to a torture room, which sounds very castle-like. The ah. trap worked, Master. Excellent! Quickly, lock the door! Zendalar and the Marked Ones are trapped inside. Victory is ours! Cool. So, if nothing else, that tells us we chose the right set of stairs, doesn't it? Now, of course, I am very unworthy of traps. I just, I, I find them by putting my fingers in my ears and stomping on the ground. Uh, We're in trouble, Marked One. A strong enchantment lies over this place and blocks my magic. It's pointless to try to cast spells in here. Then we have to fall back. Perhaps we can reach the sewers in time. <laughs> Too late. You can't escape. Kill the marked one. God, it's a death knight. Look out! More orcs are coming. Quickly, that way. There is no escape. We have to make a stand. No, you fool! Your life is too precious to risk. I'll fight while you run. Now, go! Uh, this I could... know cowards, Andalor, and I don't run from the fool. Come on, you bastards, fight! No, don't be a fool! A fool, maybe, but I'm no coward. Come on, let's see the color of your blood, you swine! Your decrepit friend is right, marked one. We will be the death of you. <laughs> wow. No! They weren't kidding. <laughs> Guy's made out of jello. We'll just wait here if you don't mind. There's no way out. 
And when Mistress Iona comes, she'll take good care of you, oldster. Gods, I'm trapped. Gods? That uh, sounded very Batman-like. Royal chain. Yeah, whatever, we'll grab it. I think I'm going to be stepping on a lot of traps. Divine amulet? Seems pointless, but what the hell, it's loot. Wow, do we bother? Yeah, looks like it. Wonder if I should be looting the castle. I mean, you know, it's the king's stuff, not mine. I, should I be doing this? Is this something I should be doing? It's it's habit more than anything. It's you know, and I never. I never chose at the beginning whether I was good or bad, and doesn't seem to be complaining. And actually, this is belongs to the snot nose. I'll just call this a tip for all that babysitting work I did. So that worked. Yes, yes, I get the idea. One of these days I will reduce the impact. Well, shadows I don't use for anything, but find it difficult to walk past anything without looting it. Oh. So oh, was that the Death Knight? I think it was. Sorry guys, I've had tougher times killing things. Broken dagger, pile of gold. Tailored metal buckler. Something tells me I was supposed to be here a little sooner. Like not quite at the level I'm at. That works very well for me and I will take it. Thank you very much. I'm more than happy to slaughter indiscriminately. Some people at this point would turn up the difficulty of the game. I'm not even sure this game is possible to turn it up at this stage, but I am not one of those people. I will more than happily run around being overpowered. Being overpowering. No, I won't happily run around being overpowered. Thank you for saving me, Marked One. You know, I've never met someone who could escape Twice the clutches of the Black Ring. You're quite a prize. How did you know I was here? Well, actually, a talking pussy told me. A talking cat? You must mean Arhu. It was a good thing I let him in on my plans. Otherwise, he never I never would have gotten out of here. What happened to your companion? When I tried to rescue the third marked one from his imprisonment, a death knight attacked and killed him without mercy. What are you doing here? I came here with one of the marked ones to see if the Sword of Lies is still in its place, but we failed. My companion was brutally slaughtered, and I was driven into this room. They drove you in here, or did you walk? The Sword of Lies? You speak in riddles, old man! Have you ever heard about the Age of Chaos or altering the Weapon Master? No? Very well, it seems I shall have to start at the beginning. No, no, please, please start at the end. Oh, please tell me all you know. Ultering was both a brilliant wizard and versed in the arts of swordplay. He was a true battle mage, uh, by will and by nature. What happened to Ultering? He became a member of the Damned and forged a sword of lies under the direction of the cursed Lord of Chaos. That evil deity put a small seed of his life force, his soul, if gods have such things, into the sword. 
that made it one of the most dread weapons to ever trouble our poor world. So, what happened next? Ulthring became the wielder of the sorceress blade, and the Lord of Chaos himself led the damned and a horde of hell-summoning demons against the seven races, large parts of Riverton, and even the famous mage school Raelor were destroyed. The slaughter of the innocent people was a horror to see. I have it on tape, and I watch it again and again, and every time it is a horror to see. How did the seven races stop the Lord of Chaos? When the war reached its climax, the surviving armies of the League of Seven met the Lord of Chaos in an open battle upon the field. They used all their power, strategic, magical, and base trickery, to banish the black deity from Rivalon. Gods! They simply banish such an almighty foe? They succeeded, but the victory cost the Council of Seven everything they could give. They sacrificed their lo lives in order to save... Uh, sorry, their lives in order to banish the stinking deity. Tell me about the Sword of Lies. Altering was both a brilliant... Yes, you've told me about this. Uh, can you heal me? My powers are useless in this place. Uh, can we leave now? No, we must first finish what I came here. Uh, we must see if the Sword of Lies is still in its place. Tell me about the Sword of Lies. I will go and have a look. Where is this Sword of Lies? In its place, damn it, I just told you. You can find it to in the other side of this cellar, but Magical Door is guarding it. You will have to state a magical word before it will allow you in there. The magical word is... That's a, magical words, actually. Avas and Rod. I was just reading it backwards to see if it was something. Probably spells something. Save. No. I don't know. Or, you know, I was just... Eh, never mind. Probably spells something in there. Be careful not to not to angry the door, since it has been charmed with most powerful magics. Very well. Oh, I forgot what the magic word was. Oh well. We'll wing it. What could possibly go wrong? This apparently is the pile of books room. Or as Bush would say, the library! So I have to go stomping through a bunch more traps to get to this place, I would assume. Oh, look at that. Uh, no. Oh. Holy cow. Wow. It's not what I was expecting to see. It looks like they zoomed out a little far. Look at all this stuff. Cool. I wanted to see my quest logs. Anvas Enrod. No, it wasn't. Okay. I'm sure that's not what he said. Anyway. Close enough for me. Where am I? I'm that tiny little speck. Okay. Is this a door in here? It must be. Of all the types of traps, poison is my favorite. Uh, let's just... I can't do that here, of course. We can't do magic ourselves. I'm sure this is much easier for a rogue. Halt! Speak the magic word, please! Uh, yeah, see? Avas Enrod. Now, when we look in... I'm sure that's different than what it says in the, the quest. The magic is spoken, truly. Entry to the treasure room is granted. Wow, you mean that huge room full of gems wasn't the treasure room? Oh, see? Ah! Uh. Well-made leather belt, resistance to poison, well, we'll grab that. Broken something. Toy dragon. Hmm, what is this toy doing here? Something tells me that is important.
Ah, this appears to be the castle's central treasure chamber. Damn, it's empty. I can't see the Sword of Lies anywhere. Oh well, I better go and tell Zandalor that the bloody thing is gone. Well crafted quarter staff, not worth the trouble. Now a sword of lies, do you think maybe it would lie about its shape? And possibly show you a toy dragon instead? What do you think? Well made leather belt, uh crap crap. Uh, yeah, nothing important. For a treasure room, this is kind of in rough shape. Mage, no, junk, junk, junk. I am left unimpressed. Ruby Tuesday. Broken grow garbage, garbage. Let's see if we can find any more traps. So does it yet? Still looks like a toy dragon. You didn't bring it, you fool! You've doomed us all to hell! Sorry about the noise. It's ice in my iced tea, not marbles or anything like that. Hey, old fart. I found your toy. Uh, let's see. Tell me about the Sword of Lies. I found the room. I knew it. The Sword of Lies had to be the heart of this matter. I wondered how young Janus came to such power. Guess correctly, he has taken the Sword of Lies, but can never find certain proof. Now at last I begin to understand the depths of our perilous situation. Ah, here we go. I've also found a toy next to where the Sword of Lies used to be. A toy? It's all coming quite clear to me now. I believe Janus somehow managed to enter the treasure room. He picked up the Sword of Lies, and it was of course... And he was of course too weak to withstand the demon's powers. I fear there is nothing we can do to save Janus. So, Janus is in possession of the Sword of Lies. You seem quite upset. Is there a threat to the Seven Races? Yes, oh yes! In the Sword of Lies slumbers a small fragment of the Lord of Chaos. It has taken possession of Janus. I fear there is nothing we can do to save him. The Duke we see now is no longer the true Janus. The boy was always weak-willed, spoiled brat. But his current cunning and cruelty are that of the Lord of Chaos. You mean Janus is the Lord of Chaos? No, that is impossible. The Lord of Chaos has been banned for good. But it is a sure thing that Janus and the Black Ring have no good intentions. It is all so alarming. It seems as if things are getting out of control. There is still hope that we can change the current situation. The second Mark I is waiting for us at the Dwarven Bread Inn. What if the Black Ring knows of his whereabouts? Let us try to get to the Dwarven Bread Inn immediately. I came ready for certain eventualities. I carry a potion with me, which will, hopefully, grant me the power to teleport us safely. No, teleport us to safety. I hope it works, or we may never get out of here. All right. Uh, X. X. 38,000 experience. I have teleported us to the Dwarven Bread Inn. This is where the other marked one is waiting for us. Very well, then. Let's go find him. Using my vast skills. Excuse me, kind sir. Yes, Sonny? Could you help me, sir? That depends on what you want, boy. That well, pins? Spit it out, lad. Don't be afraid. I, I, I think some bad guys are planning to kill some guy just outside. What? Show me the way, son. I'll soon take care of this. What could Thank possibly you, go this wrong? Way. Come this way. So easily fooled.
Now, get into this van. Just wait here, sir. Wait, what's going on here? Oh, I'll tell you what's going on, piggy human. You're about to die. Damn, you tricked me, you little devil. Money is money, sucker. Better that you die than my parents starve. Now enough of this. <laughs> Assassins, kill him! Oh, typical. <laughs> this new generation of assassins are about as deadly as milkmaids. <laughs> oh, well, I suppose I'd have to kill myself. So why didn't you do that in the first place? I brought this guy to you. Now I want my money, Bat Breath. Oh, yes, indeed. You certainly earned it, Sonny. Yeah. <laughs> but on second thoughts, I think I'll just keep the cash and kill you instead. What? No. Please don't hurt me, kind sir. <laughs> money is money, sucker. <laughs> oh, no. Quick. We must see if we can save the other marked one. Save him for what? Leftovers? Alas, it is too late. There is nothing I can do for him anymore. I failed once again to protect a marked one. Now I feel the hand of doom stretches stretched over us all. But this means I am the only marked one that remains. I suppose I shouldn't have drank that poison after all. I'm afraid so, my friend. It also means that you are now our only hope. This has gone on too long. We must take action immediately. I shall teleport us to a safer location where I can perform the ritual so you can become the Divine One. You are right. There is no time to waste. Let us go now. Very well, but I would like to pick up some things. Well, let's see. Nah, screw it. Very well. Behold, the meeting hall of the League of Seven, founded by the great Archmage Shen Feral. Very impressive, but the Council of Seven what? Look, old man, you promised me explanations. What happened to me? Why are these people trying to kill me? Why have I been marked like this? First things first. This is the meeting hall of the Council of Seven Races. Orcs, Imps, Elves, Lizards, Dwarfs, Humans, and Good Wizards. Why just those races? Aren't Hawkmen, Trolls, or Halflings worthy of a voice on the New York Council? And since when have Wizards been a race? I thought any intelligent being could become a wizard. I see that there is a lot of history that I must teach you if things are to become plain, Mark One. The official Council of Seven was formed from the most powerful intelligent races in Rivalon. Wizards were included as a gesture of courtesy. It's always best to be polite to us mages, and besides, the Council of Six Races and assorted magic users was too much of a mouthful. What has all this to do with me? The League of Seven was originally formed over half a millennium ago to fight the Lord of Chaos, the God of Evil. If you like to put things sim simply, the Lord of Chaos was the first god born from primal chaos before the good gods descended from the sun. He has always sought to destroy the living world made by the latter gods, perhaps from je jealousy or perhaps because he simply wants to be left alone again. I've heard of the Lord of Chaos whispered of in tales at midnight, but surely the good gods banished him to hell. Twice has Lord Chaos been exiled from the land of the living, once by the gods themselves, in time out of mind, the second time by a group of powerful and dedicated mortals, the very council of seven races, that we are here to resurrect. I believe the only such I believe that only such an assembly can counter the machinations of the mysterious black ring. Wait when you said that name, I felt something, something malignant stirring in yonder dark passages. I sense that we are in terrible danger. You are right. My old senses must be getting dulled to not immediately feel the presence of a demon nearby. Our enemies have set a trap for any such as we who come to this ancient place to revive the council. Prepare yourself, Marked One. Physically manifest 
demons can be killed like any normal creature, but they wield fearsome powers. If weapons and magic can bite upon a fiend from hell, then we'll send this demon back to where they came from. Onward, my friend. Hmm. Don't even think about resisting me, old man. Ooh, I wouldn't. <laughs> Cannot resist. And Must you, let her spank me. One, perhaps we'll have some fun together. Hmm? But first, you have to catch me. <laughs> Be careful, Mark One. It's a trap. Oh, yeah, thanks for clearing that up. Jeez. Can't you break out of the spell that's holding you? Yes, of course I can. It's just nice and cozy warm in here. No, damn it, I can't break loose. I'm trapped like a rabbit in a snare. The more I try to shatter my bonds, the tighter they grip me. What was that creature? The succubus is a female demon who attacks her victims with illusions and charms. She will try to get near to you because her kiss is lethal to mortals. Can you still cast magic? Certainly not against my prison. Nor can I use powerful spells aimed beyond its bounds. When the succubus attacked, I cast a bolt of lightning at her, but the spell was negated by the cage. But perhaps I can still perform shorter range spells. Let me try a healing spell on you. Shezban Alavir! Ah, yes, at least your healing spells still work. Okay, so we can use him to heal me, apparently. And let's do a quick save. And actually, look at the time. It is time for me to say I thank you for watching and I thank you for listening. I encourage you to leave comments, suggestions, or infantile abuse. I promise I read it all. And if you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel or give me the thumbs up. And we'll see you in the next one. Have a good one, folks. Cheers.